Assalamu alaikum. This is me Dr. Saifullah. In this video, I will show you that how we can compute efficient frontier based on the two stocks. In an earlier video, I have explained the concept of efficient frontier and the link of that video is shown in the upper right corner. In this video, I will only explain that how we can compute efficient frontier in Microsoft Excel by using two stocks. We have already computed the risk return of two stocks, namely Nishat Mills Limited and Maple Leaf Cement Factory Limited. The arithmetic mean for NML is 12%, whereas the arithmetic mean for the MLCF is 31.7%. And the standard deviation that is the measure of risk is 40% for Nishat Mills Limited and 59% for Maple Leaf Cement Factory. And the covariance between these two stocks is negative, and the correlation coefficient is minus 0.48 to compute efficient frontier we will assign hypothetical weights to both these stocks firstly i will allocate 100 percent weight to nishat mills limited and zero percent investment at maple leaf cement company and then gradually i will decrease the weight of nishat mills limited and increase the weight of maple leaf cement factory just like 90 percent in nishat mills limited and 10% in Maple Leaf Cement Company. In any situation, the sum of weights will be equal to 1. 80%, 20 70%, 30%, 60%, 40%, 50%, 50%, 40%, 60%, 30%, 70%, 20%, 80, 10, 90, 0% and after computing weights, I will calculate portfolio return and portfolio risk for both these stocks. The calculation of portfolio risk and return is also explained in another video. The link is shown in the description and also shown in the upper right corner of this video. To compute portfolio return, I will press equal to bracket start return on the first security and I will press F4 to lock this cell. Multiply by weight of the first security that is Nishat Mills Limited plus return of the second security that is Maple Leaf Cement Company. Press F4 to lock this cell. Multiply by weight of the MLCF and press enter. So the return will be computed for all these weights we have will have minimum 11.98 percent and maximum return will be 31.71 percent similarly i will compute portfolio risk that is equal to weight scare of the first security multiply by variance of the first security plus weight scare of the second security multiply by variance of the second security plus 2 into weight of A into weight of B into covariance AB. Don't forget to place F4 for the variance of the securities to lock these cells and I will place SQRT square root and the variance of all these stocks is computed. Similarly, if we invest 100% at Nishat Mills Limited, our return is 11.98% and the risk is 40.89%. That is the standard deviation of the Nishat Mills Limited. If we invest 100% at Maple Leaf Cement Company, then our return will be 31.7% and the risk will be 58.99%. That is the variance, uh, that is the standard deviation of Maple Leaf Cement Company. To insert efficient frontier graph i will click on scatter plots then i will click on select data add data series name i will choose portfolio return x values that is the risk of the portfolios and y values are the return on the portfolios and here here we will get our efficient frontier graph we can give the name of these cells MLCF and 
here I will click and add data label data label and I will click on this value and choose cell NML so the efficient frontier shows that the minimum risk return that we can get from the portfolio of these securities is at 20% return and that will be around uh, at 25% risk it means optimal weights will be 60% at Nishat Mills Limited and 40% at MLCF and we will get around 20% return and 25% uh, risk. In next video I will explain that how we can compute efficient frontier by using multiple stocks more than two stocks. If you have any questions you can contact us you can contact us through WhatsApp or Facebook or write in the comment section of this video. I will try to explain your answers in next videos. Thank you. Take care. Allah Hafiz.